Sandy, I'm a makeup artist. This is my lovely model, Sarah, and we're about to show you how to go from a daytime look to an evening look, okay? Using the fantastic Sasha products. About 10 years ago, I came across Sasha, and um, to my, as, as, you know, acknowledgement, it's been going for 33 years, so I'm really excited to try it, because the last time I saw it, it was in a small little shop somewhere in the south of South London, it didn't look like anything much, and I thought, well, it's come from Trinidad. I've got to try it. 2011, I came across Sasha for the first time in all its glory. Fantastic packaging, the colours, the pigments, great lipsticks. So first of all, I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer. Um, and Basically, I don't have to do very much, just a little bit around the eyes. Okay. Just to highlight. So remember Sarah already had makeup on. She had a very natural look and now we're going to glamorize her and get her into the evening. Okay. That's basically just a tiny little bit a long way. Okay, I'm excited. So here we go. We're gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with this lovely plum down here. Okay, look how beautiful it goes on. Pigments are amazing. So what I chose, I chose this aubergine colour, like a what we call a, a crease cut, to go right through the crease. And this would make her eyes look even bigger and pop. She already had um, highlighter on her eyes, so it's just really just to blend it. Also, if you wanted to make the colours more intense, Sasha does a fix it spray. This, I'm told, is fantastic. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm going to try it later so you can see. All you need to do is just spray it on the eyeshadows, makes the colours more intense. That lasts a long time. So now we're going to add another colour. Just to warm the eyes a little bit. Something slightly lighter, a little bit of white. I don't want too much. A bit right under the brow. This would be a highlighting colour. It could be any colour. Anything white, gold, yellow. But in this case, I use white. Okay, one side. Just under the brow. Lid of her eyes. So you have your highlighting, your crease, and more highlighting. Okay, that's all right. And now we're going to go for some eyeliner. Just to frame the eyes. Okay, now you want to put the eyeliner on the bottom. So just 
spoon over what she had on already. And we're going to make it nice and more intense. And we can go right into the teardrop. This gives the eyes that wow factor. Starting with the dark colour at the end and the lighter colour at the top. Okay, so now for blushes. This is a beautiful colour, I love this one. Just need a tiny bit. too much on using a great a good brush you just pat it onto the skin following the natural cheekbone you start off with this end in case you make a mistake it's easy to blend and you bring it to the apple okay then we're gonna use Another colour by Sasha, which is like gold. I love this. This is ideal for highlighting the cheekbone. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit just along here. And basically, the cutest part of the cheeks, just here. It's a tiny bit, and I'm just gonna blend it. And blend it together with the pink. wonderful just warms up the skin beautifully Sarah's got a fair bit of yellow in his skin tone so it's just perfect and now we want to complement the look with lipstick and I came across these amazing colors again by Sasha and I just love well every color basically I find them long-lasting you just have a wide choice from matte finish to pearls. You've got the most wildest pinks to the most softest beige. It's, it's just, the line is just so amazing. So for Sarah, we've got her eyes quite intense and very sexy. So we don't want anything that's gonna overpower that. So we're gonna go with a nude color on her lips. Look at that, look at that beautiful look. Okay, I already applied moisturizer on Sarah's lips so the, the color is easily spread on. always great to have dark intense eyes and fantastic sheer lips it works wonderful together it's not good to have dark eyes and dark lips it's too much okay 
This color is called Matte Me Traffic. It's fab. And they do these amazing lip glosses. Again, excellent quality. Pigmentation, you couldn't get better than this. I like this color. It's called Slush Sippy. Very, very rich and creamy. Just a little hint. The quality is so good, you can just use it on its own. But I find it looks particularly nice over lip gloss, lip lipstick. It just does something to the lips. to look with a small amount of compact powder. Nice big brush. Just dust lightly on the forehead, all over the face. You can finish the look with false eyelashes, some mascara, but basically this is the look. 